it's Sandy Parker and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. One of my friends just had a birthday and of course I didn't know about it until it was on Facebook because I forget these things. But I'm going to put it in my birthday calendar and I thought I would make him an under the sea kind of themed card. And I'm going, I cut this circle out of this 5 by 7 inch card. It's an oval not a circle in case you didn't know. And I'm going to be using this Hampton Art set, uh, Sea Life, and I'm even going to use the dies and cut out uh, jellyfish. And I'm going to use a sentiment that says, um, have a jelly good birthday. And I'm going to be uh, filling this with gel and making the back of it wet or gel, whatever you want to call it. And the first thing I thought I would do is uh, do my jellyfish, and I I didn't know. I didn't know what colors to make it, so I think I'm going to go with um, this cameo coral background, and then do the summer star fruit foreground. It might look really weird. I might have to redo it, but um, in the meantime, we're going to give it a shot, right? And this is the first time I've used this set, so that's why I'm beating it really hard, because I want to make sure that I get a really good impression because you never know it looks like it's going to need a second round oh it's pretty vivid then I have a this is a two step stamping system and so I want to make sure that I get this nice and clean and then we'll put the other stamp image on here and it's this one pardon me while I get my head in here for you Hmm. I think I'm going to go with that. Could be wrong, but living on the edge. I'm not exactly sure how these are supposed to look once they're stamped, but we're going with this. I don't know if I should use this yellow color. Maybe I'll use an orange instead. I think I'm going to go with this groovy guava. Might not be enough of a color difference. We'll try it. If there's not enough of a color difference, we'll get another color. That's how we roll. So, well, I have to say there's not enough of a color difference, so I'm going to go for a different color. Okay, I'm going to go with a more of a really rusty color. It's called uh, Dusty Durango. It's almost a brown. I don't know if it'll look good or not, but we're going to shoot for it. It's kind of cool. So this is my background. It's a whippersnappers stamp that I stamped twice uh, because my card is so big I had to stamp it twice. And I'm going to use my Touch 5 markers for this. I'm just using a random variety of them. Uh, I'll give you the numbers 178, 68, 144, 76, 12, 16, 45, 34, 48, 167, 58, and 47. That is the order that those are in right there. So hopefully that will help you if you look at them. Oh, maybe I'll leave them there a minute longer so you can see them. That's the order. And you see my swatching system so I know exactly what colors I'm going to get. The other thing I wanted to tell you was that my uh, my gel is this blue so I have to make sure my colors are vibrant enough even though that that's going to be see-through I have to make sure my colors are going to stand up to it so I'm not going to use very many really lighter colors because I want to make sure that you'll be able to really see what I'm doing here and um, I did draw a line around this that will show me exactly where my um, oval is so I don't have to color outside of the oval if that makes any sense hopefully it does and right now I'm looking for starfish I'll do all of them first and then I'll go to the next thing And I'm not going to have uh, this in slow mo because you'll be watching me color this forever uh, I know some of you like to see me color in like a longer version of this but um, if you could put in the comments below if you like the long version of me coloring or if you prefer me to speed up I'd appreciate that because 
you know, if, if you want to see the long version, I, I mean, it's on the video, so I don't have a problem with that. I just want to make sure that I find out what, what most of you prefer, because I don't want you to have to be stuck watching something that you're not really in the mood to watch. So if you could just put that in the comments, say, like, I prefer you to speed through coloring, or I prefer you to go slow through coloring, that would help me, and I'll know. So now my coloring is done and all I need to do at this point on this is I'm using a scrap background. I'm taking some pool party, if I can get it open, and I'm using my little brush and I'm going to go around the background so that it's not such a stark white because I'm not exactly sure if our um, gel will change the color enough to make it so that you can see the bluey background, bluish green, pool party, pool color. We just want to make sure that this is not stark white. That's all I'm going for. need to put our card together. If I get that closed. Okay. So I'm going to put this inside here, but before I do that, oh, I can put it in now. Oh, I can do that. I have this new tape runner that Jennifer McGuire recommends, and so far I haven't figured out how to get the little latch off. 
but I figured it out. Things are good. Now all we're going to do is put a bunch of tape runner on the back of this. Make sure it stays in place. We're just going to put it in the back of our card, making sure that it's um, centered as much as possible. Looks good. And then when I put that down, you'll be able to see all of our little animals. Then the next step is we take our plastic bag like this, and there's an end of it that's open, and I'm going to put gel in it. Now, when you do this, you just have to make sure that your bag is long enough to go... Well, hold on while I squirt gel on my lap. It seems like a lot of gel, but you spread it out. Not You don't want to be rough with it because our goal here isn't... Oh, it looks like a seam of that is broken. Okay, so I'm going to have to go around that with more of the gel. I'm making sure that my ends are sealed. That section just doesn't want to play. Okay. Now I have this little sealer and my battery was dead on earlier so I had to um, do it a, a get a new battery and when I got the new battery it started smoking so if you see this smoke it's not a big deal because that was a problem I had with it when I played with it a little while ago and then I have to do the other side making sure that my seam goes all the way across so now I have everything sealed I think and I'm going to still go around it because I get a little nervous about this kind of thing going in the mail. I'm going to go around everything with um, with tape still just to make sure everything is good. So there's our bubbly. I think it looks good. I just need to make sure everything is secure and for good. It looks good. Can you see the bubbles? Maybe you can, maybe you can't. All right, let me then seal up my bottom with some tape, and I'm going to tape that in rather than use um, tear tape or anything like that. I'm just going to tape the edges in. That way we'll be sure that the whole thing is well sealed and that we won't have any kind of issues with anything coming apart. And then around my edges. Just make sure they're really well, well sealed. do is um, you want to put a little bit of um, you could put a little bit of adhesive between the two layers. I, I'm not going to put any foam tape in between my layers because I didn't put so much gel in here that my layers are really separated. I'm just going to um, adhere them together and what you want to make sure of is when you glue this down that you have it so that it's it, that it has uh, foam tape in there if yours is really thick. I don't think mine is seriously thick, so I'm just going to put tear tape in between my, around my edges. So I've put my foam or excuse me my tear tape all around the edges of the inside of my card. So now I just have to flatten it down like that and make sure it's flat the whole way. Then the next thing I want to do is put my embellishments that I made for the outside of the card. And those are I got hair gel going everywhere. 
Okay. Um, those are this little fella. And then I have some of these that I thought what I would do is I'd put like one inside and then a couple outside maybe like that. That's my goal. And then I have this sentiment that says, have a jelly good birthday. And um, I need to go around the outside of that with a marker. I think I'm going to go with something like that. And I'm just going to use one of these markers. And it will bleed a little bit, and that's OK. way so you can see this better. Okay, almost done. That's our pool party that we used on the inside of the card. So I'm going to, do I want some foam? I don't think I do. I'm just going to put some tape across the top and on, I hope that's the right side, yeah it is, I'm just going to put it like that. And then we're going to put this little fella inside. Like that. Then this one. Right there. and then maybe I'll put this one. I don't like that one. It's weird. There, I just made it. I made an executive decision. That one's weird. Hopefully, this will be enough glue to hold my octopus. No. Jellyfish. <laughs> I was close, though, wasn't I? I'm going to take that back off and put a little bit tape runner across the bottom because I figured what the heck might as well right move it up more too okay there's that now when you make a base for one of these you go in the opposite direction because you seal this shut you know like um, a card so then you have to put the other card on top of it Okay, now let's get our base and we'll be all set with this. I think I might use that little piece on the inside. Maybe not. I don't know. For my inside sentiment, I'm using the Simon Says stamp set, You Matter. And I'm doing Wishing You Nothing But The Best. And I did that with Onyx Black, uh, VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And then I, this is a 5 by 7 card. My base is the same size, I'm pretty sure. I want to make sure that my base is um, not going to come apart from that top since that piece is so um, heavy with that gel in it. It's not, uh, it's not 
like you would expect um, anything to be as far as weight. It's very, very heavy. So you want to make sure that when you do put this down, you have the right kind of adhesive for it, and that's, that's why I'm using this. Okay. So that's everything. Then I'm just going to lay this down as evenly as possible. So when you open this, it looks like that. So I thought what I would do is, on the outside of our envelope, I thought I would put uh, some of the little jellyfish. So I'm just going to use my markers on these. These are just water-based markers. And um, this one is uh, Stampin' Up! Peach Parfait, and this one is Poppy Parade. I just thought I would kind of go around the edges a little bit with this one. And maybe I'll go back over with this one a little bit. So it's not so blatantly. And then I'm going to do them. Again. Only this time I'm just going to put my head over it. Try to make sure I get them again. And that way they're kind of cool. Two more on the back. Right by the seam, I think. put two more in the inside of the card because I'm going to lay down near the bottom. I'm going to place that um, piece of coral. So I'm going to put these little fellas in there too. Same colors. Second first. Whoops. Same as the first. bad boy down. Where's my glue pad? There it is. It's going to start to sing a little bit there. Okay. I'm just going to put this down there on the bottom. And that's our card. Whoops. Didn't stamp it yet. Because I made this for you. So that's our card. And it's a weighty one. I think when it goes to the mail, it'll probably take at least two stamps because of the size and the and the um, weight of the the gel. I mean, it's it's a hefty little bugger. I hope you enjoyed this and that you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Tell your friends about me on social media because I really appreciate it. Actually, just tell one friend about me. That would really make my day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.